culture day. What's up, everybody? Look at this feed mask shirt that my girl got me at the American Collection on the home. You guys can see the shots from the back. It's gonna say the other way, but it's kind of weird. I love that car so much. So today, what I got cracking is I'm gonna be replacing these oil drainage lines, the return lines, um, on the single cam set because it's been leaking, and I think it's leaking from where the flange is at. So particular, particularly from this part right here. I think it's leaking from here. Um, and this one just got all the fittings. It's kind of like a universal kit, found it on Amazon. So I think it should be fine. I mean, the turbo over there is not a, you know, precision 62, 66 turbo and stuff. It's just a normal, you know, general universal type T3, T4 kind of turbo. So I think this should be fine. That's another beautiful ass car right there. Let me go get the keys and I'll just probably just remove the turbo, man. I'm not gonna show you guys, it's just like, couple bolts that's the tie to the flange so i'll probably just bring it back once i'm at the table right here just want to give you guys like a little visual here so you guys can see how bad this thing is it's just leaking from there and the allen keys i'm pretty sure it's the gasket that's right there and then just drips all the way down even gets to the intercooler piping right here look at that oh covered with slime and stuff it just drips down to the oil pan and stuff i think the oil pan might be leaking again but I don't know, i have to see after I change to see if this helps with anything. But from the feed line, it looks okay. I mean, maybe that gasket too is going out, but for sure that one's gone. So the wastegate is out, and then I got the nuts on the bottom out, and I just need these four right here on top, and everything should be good. I just connected the intercooler from down there, so then I should just be able to just pop this out, set on the table, and then we'll get to, oh, yeah, just connect the line from there, and then we should be good. One more time, we're gonna celebrate. Oh, yeah. Everything is off. All the nuts from the exhaust manifold studs. Uh, the wastegate, it's right here. The oil feed line, right there. And then uh, the bottom studs, right? And the bottom nuts, sorry, from the studs. And then I disconnected the line. So, and then disconnected it from there. So, this thing should be ready to come out. Man, that makes me sad. Man. Look at all that oil right there dripping. And it's all because the valve is not sitting well because of this damn bolt right here. I'll fix that soon. Ooh. Here we have it. I'm gonna do some maintenance on this thing today. Tons of little light. Much better. Very nice, very nice. Everything's looking good with the parts. I mean, this part's gonna replace this pretty easily. And then this little bend right here, this little 45 is gonna replace that part. And that gasket and all that little stuff is gonna be what's gonna go on this part right here, right? It even has like the little like, cap screws too. Look. Where are they at? Right there, look. You see, so it's gonna with the washer, so it's gonna replace those there. These two right here, just cap screws, they're just Allen keys. I'm almost positive that the leak is coming from here, from this gasket right here. Almost positive. See, unlike most Hondas that actually burn oil because of piston rings or valve stem seals, this one doesn't actually burn oil. But this one, I do have in time, in certain times, I do have the oil drop, the level, and that could be very much because of this oil leak that i have here from the return line from the turbo and also because of that valve cover the problem that i have with that bolt but other than that this car i've driven this car trust me plenty of times where possibly in this one or another one it would have already burned oil for sure but this one the single cam civic piston rings seem to be good and the valve stem seals also tend to be good this em1 i do have a problem with the valve stem seals so i will be changing them this year yeah i get that sorted out Sometimes this car just impresses me from how many things are wrong in this car before my ownership. I think I see the problem. Well, evident was a problem, but now I see why. Let me show you guys. Okay, it's not off yet, but I don't know if you guys see the problem. There is no gasket. Zero. Zero gasket. Zero. Zero flat wow so the oil's been dripping since day one from i got i don't know from when i got it and i thought i had let it slide so that was my problem i was like ah oh, you know it's probably the line or something but i just kept seeing it it would leak and leak and leak more oil more oil more oil especially when i run it hard more oil more oil and yeah now i see why <laughs> well that for sure is what i would consider a bro moment that's crazy i mean but it's just going to show you, man, that Hondas do really be running for a long time. So I blame the owner, but then I blame me as well for not 
catching the problem earlier because i'm i am noticing every time i work on this car the more deeper i get into this car the more problems i keep seeing that i haven't corrected right so what mind your key is that i haven't corrected or i haven't seen or touched so this is one of the problems but you know now i'm correcting it so the car should be top notch from the return line from the turbo so these being a universal kit you do find some problems i mean they're not specific to this turbo it's more like a universal thing hence the name but anyways this little piece right this one was connected right here to this piece i just cleaned it up um i don't think i'm gonna use that piece i think i am gonna run the new line and i'm gonna use this little flange here and this little bunch right here and i like this one because this one actually extends it threads all the way into uh the bottom end of this flange whereas this one i try to thread it in into the new plate here this flange but it didn't go all the way in and then mind you that one side is tapered the other side is just straight edge and this side it's both of them are tapered in so i feel like it was supposed to be like this for a reason um i don't know if maybe i got the wrong one or in the kit i guess i should have seen so but this was working so i'm gonna go with what was working right so i'm gonna go ahead and utilize this one obviously use the gasket use the line and then i'm gonna go ahead and use this 90 right so basically replicate the same thing here boom and then boom and then use the line right the fresh line right there and then at the end just gonna use this one here and that's it and then i can use the same cap screws here or i can just use the ones that it brought with i'll probably use those um yeah that's pretty much it so the only thing i'm not gonna be using is this little flange here and then um uh, the other extra, uh, what is it, 45 degree. So the gasket is on, it's looking dry already, man. So it's looking good. Now I'm just gonna attach that 45 degree adapter and then the line, and then uh, this other straight adapter there. Well, that's pretty much it. And then this thing should be ready to go back on. And voila, there we go. So attach the 90 degree fit in here, just tighten it here with the adjustable wrench. And then this line here, um, it's just, propped open you fit the line and then you just tighten it right here boom and then same thing here the line here and then adjust it here tighten it here shot the line through there and boom now it's looking beautiful look at that before i put it back on i do want to clean um these ports here from the exhaust manifold they are a little bit dirty probably clean up the turbo a little more i was taking off the filter here the car wasn't on like that i was uh, trying to take it off see the compressor and everything um i think i am gonna order well i have to i don't think i think i must order i said i must order this gasket for the feed line it's not completely ripped but yeah it's not good man i mean it's just a little piece ripping here so uh i shouldn't be surprised if i see some oil trying to leak out from here um but for now it should be good i'm gonna put the exhaust manifold back but i'm gonna let this sit in some water with some soap some more water yeah, this thing's all nasty let's look at the turbo <laughs> No play, no shaft play. That's good. Yeah, so I got a problem. So I just did like a slight mock right here, a setup. And yeah, look at this. Look, so if I go ahead and insert it there, right? Okay. You're like, oh, well, that's not bad. Well, we got a couple problems. One, it's running into uh, the dump pipe here. So that's gonna catch on fire or start melting it eventually. And then here, this loop is not good. I mean, you want your return line to be as straight as possible. So this comes down which is fine but then it kind of loops up and that's a problem because you might get the line clogged up and backed up and if that happens then you know the turbo is gonna pull up with oil and that's not good it's that's not good for the drainage so i'm gonna have to cut it tomorrow straighten it out and then make it as close as possible to the one that the car already had because i really don't want to use the old one like it kind of defeats the whole point of me putting you know these new fittings and everything so i should just put the gasket if i was going to use the old line but yeah so i'll just continue it tomorrow and it works out well too because i'm going to put the filter on a little little tub of some soap and warm water and then by tomorrow it should already be all uh, the oil should be greased out so i got the filter resting in here real quick I'm gonna leave it all there overnight let all that grime get off got a warm water there and some all-purpose degreaser so yeah meanwhile here you know you guys already saw everything is good here just kept the line here just as a reference so i'm gonna have to cut here this line match it up there and cut it up up to around there hopefully i cut a little longer and because if i cut short then i'm screwed on today's episode of why chipotle hates me still not enough to be fair though i do finish it i don't i don't waste it I left it like halfway already
I'm looking for that hose cutter, the braided line hose cutter. Yes, sir, this is what I need right here. 10 inch cable cutters right here. They do have this Harbor Freight one here, a little cheaper, but 10 bucks, this one's 23. I think I'm cool with this one, man. I thought it was those at first, the cable, I mean, those are bolt cutters. I checked on Depot, but those are the wrong ones. Loki needs some engine to do shit too, man. Stark has balls in here. I was a little bit worried that these weren't gonna reach around, but now they reach. It's good. Barely though. Barely. And my brother used to say barely. Barely when he was small. So I'm just gonna mock up this line right here, and then I'm gonna cut the necessary length. I'm gonna cut it just a little bit over, just so that in case, you know, when I'm mocking it up, and I need a little more, you know, I do have room to work with. All right. Mocking this thing up here. I feel like that's fair right there where that line is at. Let's check it. All right, mock it up. And I gave it just a little more. I gave it a little more because remember that the line goes into this fitting right here. So I think that should be good. All right, now I'm going to use duct tape. And the reason for duct tape is to prevent the hose from fraying out. So if you cut the hose either with, you know, these hose cutters or possibly Dremel or any other tool you might have, since it's braided line, uh, the chance of it fraying out, the ends are going to pop out. They're going to explode out. So if you put some kind of tape, it should help in preventing that. So we'll see. I'm continuing the line right here. I still have that point of indication, so I should be good to cut. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh. I should have gotten the Dremel. Not bad. I wouldn't consider it the cleanest cut, but the duct tape really helped. I feel like if the duct tape wasn't there, it would have for sure frayed out. This is the part that I'm gonna be utilizing. I could probably clean it up a bit. Cool. So I got my old one there, and then my new one here. Should be good, perfect. It's very much doable with this one, but there is a longer one, which would be a lot easier since it would give you more leverage. The one I wanted to get was a longer one. It was from, I think Summit Tools, I think, Summit Racing, sorry. Uh, and then the other one was Speedway Motors. It was like a 24 inch one, so obviously, if it's longer, you'd have more leverage, so it'd be a lot easier. But instead, it was gonna get here in like two weeks, so I was like, ah, whatever, let's get the one from Harbor Freight, you know. Got the job done. Like I said, not the cleanest cut, but good enough. I'm happy, content with it. Should be able to still fit it through the fitting and stuff. I can probably clean it up a bit. Okay, so this is the end of the original line, one of the ends, right? It doesn't have the perfect cut, but I mean, it's still pretty good. You have some of the bits of the braid line kind of fraying out a bit. Um, but it has a yellow tape there. At least it seems like tape to me. I think it's there just to assist and smoothness transition into the fitting so likewise with my line here that has a you know decent cut i'm gonna put a little bit of this duct tape right here because i don't know what kind of tape that yellow thing is so i'm gonna grab some duct tape here and i'm gonna put it right here in the, in the end right here that way it's easier uh entry into the fitting so i'm gonna have my little take it's always cool doing things like this man i really enjoy it a lot look at that perfect looks good to me man <laughs> Sheesh. The hose is already tight right about there. So in case it starts leaking oil from there, then I'll probably tighten it a bit more. But for now, I think nothing's not moving there. So I'll put the fitting back and let's go install this baby. Now I'm gonna spray down the engine degreaser. Oh, that's not good. Some oil fell from the feed line. Let it sit there for a minute. Let's see how this thing is done. Oh, pretty good. Then give it a good rinse and then let it sit in the sun. Give it a little degreaser. Looks way better than before. And I even cleaned the, the bottom of the oil pan there. That way it's ready to have the return line fitted on there. So I mocked it up. Let me see if the line fits now. Beautiful clearance, man. Look at that. Woo -woo. Yeah, so everything's tight from here. Everything's tight from here. This one's tight in all the way. And this one's tight right here, it's good. And this one right here, seems like I can tighten a bit more, but even if I tried, I think uh, it's already pinching the hose. So, it's good. I'll just keep an eye on it. Now I'm just gonna put everything back. I'm gonna put the feed line back, the wastegate, and then turn it on, let it idle, see if I see any oil dripping. That's gonna be my, uh, I'm gonna keep an eye out on that one. And 
the bottom over here, see if anything leaks from here. So hopefully not. And there's no leaks, I'm gonna go whip it real quick. Everything is tightened, all the nuts, the feed line, uh, the return line, you guys saw me do that. Right here, uh, the intercooler piping coming out from the cold side of the turbo and the waste gear right here, boom, boom. I say it's pretty dry. Yeah, that's good. I got coolant, oil's good, wastegate is good, exhaust manifold's there, gasket, everything else is good. Moment of truth. This line's clean, so we should be able to notice any any leaks and stuff. So far, so good. so good i'm gonna grab a little napkin and pass it over the hose or under the hose to see if there's any leaks dry it's dry let's go little stuff like that makes me happy man let's go for a drive let's put it under load and see it should hold up fine so almost there almost there I mean, I expect the car to run the same. I mean, I just changed the return line, right? All right, now I'll get off and I'll take a look at the return line rule. Like I said, everything is working perfectly fine. It's just about seeing if there's any oil leaks. My hands are dry. Nothing. Dry. Looks good to me, man. Sheesh. Now we celebrate. temperature is awesome come on man what else can i ask for this car for real is a joy for me man so yeah guys slowly and surely man i'm fixing all the little problems that this car has had that it came with when i bought it and like i said you know when i bought it i just drove the hell out of it proves to you that hondas do really run forever man seriously so that could have been a big problem you know if the oil just kept draining or if it wasn't even retaining itself back in the oil pan but uh hey hondas for the win man well guys that was a video of me installing the return line on the d16 turbo civic the single cam here as always guys i do appreciate you guys tuning in um it's you know regardless if you guys have a honda or not if you guys are here for the dodson or if you guys you guys don't have a car you guys have another type of car i'm all for it man i'm all for it here i'm just here trying to give you guys cool vibes i'm showing you guys how to work on these cars and sometimes it might be tutorials you know sometimes you know i'm just blowing past by the work that i'm doing you know I, i'm just tuning in i just want to record and show you guys the passion that i have man so i consider you guys my family thank you guys so much appreciate you guys have a good weekend guys and i'll see you guys next time all right guys peace